All right, y'all, pardon the mess. We're still moving uh, into the house in Tennessee. We've been here six weeks. Now it's, it's time to start settling in and, and slowing down, having some fun. So I want to get the Tracker Targa V18 combo in the water. And um, But I had to register it here, and uh, it's now registered. But um, one thing that California did was the dealerships there put numbers on for you. I don't understand it. And the, and the CF numbers there, they're called CF numbers for California, they're, they were larger than the minimum requirements, and they were this ugly Office Depot, um, Office Max font style. It was just, just terrible looking, and it didn't even really blend in with the boat. Um, so what I did was I found a website just by Googling custom custom stickers uh, for boat hole, hole numbers. And the first one that popped up, I said, well, let me try it. It's got good reviews, and I'll put the link on the website for you. And I did. And, um, of course, I have it on right now, but I'll show you the application after this video. Um, this one here I put on, I put on spot on. It's right on the money. It's, it's just perfect. Uh, but, but what's nice, the other side's a little crooked, but nobody would know unless I told you. Um, but uh, what I like about this custom font style, I went online and I googled what is the font style of tractor, tracker, and then I realized they have different font styles for different models of boats. I couldn't find the, the exact name of this font style. So I guess I could have called the corporate office and got an answer. But I found a font style through this website that's in the description field that is the most consistent with this one. I even even programmed it uh, to lean to the right. I programmed it to have the, the particular silver background, uh, this type of black outline, just like this outline. And so it's, it's the whole number now, my TN number rather than CF number, my whole number is very consistent with this font in this style. Here we go. And here's the official new numbers. TN for Tennessee, which I'm very, very fond of. 2152 Bill Retz. Isn't that cool? They really think of you, think of you here. Anyways, I'm excited to get this baby in the water. Um, there's not a lot of Big government restrictions here. This is another reason why we came to California. California, there's not one lake that I found in any of the lakes in California where I can go the the, the, the amount of speed that this boat is made for. This is a, a twin overhead cam, uh, twin cam V8, um, 200 horsepower. And um, here I'll be able to put this thing, that, that engine, I'll be able to give it some full throttle without looking behind my back to see who's Gonna pull me over so i'm looking forward to having some fun on the water and, and actually using a v8 the way it's made for uh on smooth waters of course otherwise that can be miserable but here it is folks if you want a custom if you've never done it here i'm i'm 62 years old been boating since i was a little teeny teeny boy early 60s with mom and dad and um never had a, a tn number i now have a tn number and pretty soon i'll have the tn flag out there um the tennessee flag and i never bought a custom hole number and boy just you know it really adds a lot of class to it and the neat thing is it's not too all-consuming and too overcoming and too gaudy looking it's the minimum size requirement and the law requires just a little bit of spacing between the number and the letters and the number and the state abbreviation and uh, i actually programmed it with the computer to give me only that amount of spacing um and I can always order more if I need to. So there it is, folks. Custom hole numbers for the boat. Let me give it one more clean cleaning here. Okay.
Okay, there it is.